Some woodworkers like a traditional cabinet maker's bench because of all the work holding options. Others like a modern assembly table because they find it more convenient for the sort of power tool woodworking they do in their shop. We can argue all day about why a traditional woodworking bench is useful for modern power tools, but instead I'm going to give you a few tips about how to secure your work on a more modern work surface. This is a T-Track table. I've had various versions for years. This one was purchased with the tracks already embedded in it. This one is portable and includes a downdraft sanding table. I made this myself and we have plans for it on our website. I'll link to them below this video. This is a T-Track panel that we built into our new modular assembly workstation. Plans for this workstation will be available in the coming weeks. My point is, you can embed T-Track in various work surfaces to create a lot of work holding options with various clamps and stops. But here's something to keep in mind. When you cut a groove for your T-Track, you reduce the thickness of your work surface by 3 eighths of an inch. If you're using 3 quarter ish inch plywood, that only gives you slightly less than 3 eighths of an inch of material beneath the tracks for the screws to bite into. That's not enough if you're going to be using clamps. You'll rip the screws right out if you tighten anything down too much. So design your work surface with a double layer of plywood, or you may create a torsion box with a grid inside. Torsion boxes are very strong and they stay flat, and you can align your T-tracks over the grid and drive long screws through and into the edge of the grid to hold it securely. By the way, don't forget to leave space at the intersections where you can slide the head of a T-bolt in and move it in either direction. Here's a tip that makes a T-track table even more handy. Take a wooden screw clamp and bore a hole through the jaw. Now you can secure it to the tabletop with a T-bolt and knob. This is a great assembly aid that will hold your project parts on edge while you work. In fact, you could even drive a dowel into the side of the clamp and then slip that into a dog hole on a traditional woodworking bench to make it even more versatile. Either way, here's one final tip. Open or close your clamp most of the way before you mount it to your bench so you won't have to turn the handles much while it's flat. Your knuckles will thank you. For more videos about workbenches and work holding, check out the links in the description below this video. See you next time. If you sharpen your tools by hand, do yourself a favor. Try one of Trend's diamond stones. You can start with a card, but before long, you'll want a full bench stone because these things cut fast, they stay perfectly flat, and you can go from stone to strop to wood and be back to work in under a minute. I'll link to my favorites in the notes below this video. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up, or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.